hair. Hold on, wait a minute, let me do it again. Hold on, wait a minute. Forgive me, Father, but I gotta take a chance. Oh, I'm already gone, so just pray for me. Hey fam, ben, welcome back. Couple of you fantastic. If you're just watching, and welcome. My name is SIK Mr. Bag J. Okay, so into this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my first impression on the new Elf Poreless Potty Primer. I've been hearing about this primer non-stop for the past few months. I think about five months or so now. And you guys know I'm based in Australia. Most of the times when things come out, we don't get it here in Australia for the longest time, okay? And now this is finally launching in Australia. If it's not online already as of today, okay? I got a message from Elf that they would like to send this to me, and I said, yes, thank you, please do. Hallelujah. So just so you know, this was sent to me, but I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion, my first impression in accordance with the claim. All right. And if you yet to join the fan band, by the way, make sure you subscribe down below, join the fan band. Okay. Turn the notification so that, that way you don't miss out an Instagram video from me. All right. Without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Okay. So this is what the party primer looks like. This is the packaging it comes in and it raises for $8, $8 US dollars and 16 Australian dollars. And a lot of people have been comparing this to the Tatcha primer. I was gonna get that, you know, the mini size, it, which was in a set, but it's now sold out. So I really can't give you guys my opinion, you know, on the comparison between the two and whatnot, okay? This is the box. And at the back, we've got the instruction. This perfecting party primer smooths the skin, preps it with squalane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear the velvety texture glides over skin oh so it's supposed to have a velvety texture okay glides over the skin smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect all right cool let me just give you guys a before so as you can see i've got a little bit of a texture right here which has now been reducing thank you jesus i think it might be the new um, face and body wash that i started using it has titrate oil in it this used to be very very raised so this is now reduced but i do have pores i don't know if you can see the holes in my face Mm -hmm. can't see it can you see it see i can see right here. i'm sure you saw it okay so i'm hoping it might do something for that so they said apply a thin even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup okay good allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation it's a nice cute box wow it's so cute this is the packaging it's so cute i've got a bit of an oily hand so that's the stain you're seeing right there and this is what the back looks like that is literally the color what you're seeing right now okay let's open it together I actually haven't opened this yet because i wanna oh it's sealed too is it sealed oh it's the it's the cream it looks so sealed it's i mean the primer it's the primer this is it you see that let's oh whoa it feels um i don't smell anything I smell something, but not anything. <laughs> it feels moussey, okay? It feels moussey. And this is the texture. It feels like um whipped cream when it's not as whippy. <laughs> All right, let's just apply on this side. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so this is around the time where I say that it's a bit lotion-y, but it's not like a lotion, like body lotion lotion, but it also doesn't really feel like any primer that I've used either. Do you know what I mean? My face feels extra moisturized. It doesn't feel tacky at all, actually. I thought it would feel tacky, especially after reading that line that it says grip makeup for the wear. It has kind of like a, it's not matte. It doesn't have a matte finish, but it doesn't also have a greasy feel to it in terms of the finish. Does my skin look more alive here or here? Okay. I actually thought that white cast it was giving me was gonna remain, but the more you work it into to the skin, the more it disappears. So that's cool. Now let's see. Okay, it's gone into my piercing hole here. Okay, so it kind of went into my pores a bit, as in not in a bad way. I can see a little, just a little bit of a difference with my pores when comparing both sides, but not a massive amount of difference. I wonder what this would do in terms of longevity of makeup, because I've got oily combination skin here, and most of the time I put my mattifying primer in my T-zone, mainly on my nose actually, so that way the oil production can be minimized throughout the day. But the way this one feels on my face right now, I don't have a whole lot of confidence of with it you know controlling my oils and whatnot reviewing primers can be quite tricky you have to try it for a few days to have a fully formed opinion on it you know what i'm saying but right now my skin is looking nice and lifted and hydrated on this side isn't it compared to this side this side looks a bit more flat and this side does not i still have a little bit of that cast of the primer but not as much as when i initially started applying it my skin does not like it doesn't have a matte finish whatsoever my face feels like i've just hydrated it times two 
um, moisturizer times two but it doesn't look greasy it also doesn't feel that way either all right i'm gonna apply in the rest of my face and i think i could apply in too much <laughs> I kind of want to do a side by side comparison in terms of foundation finish all right so the elf primer is still on this side and on this side i'm just going to go ahead and use my embryolise late cream concentrate moisturizer or moisturizing primer okay i'm just going to go put this on the other side this one doesn't do anything for the pores whatsoever so <laughs> there's no expect pore difference but i just want to see like in terms of um finish of a foundation on top of the primer so you see like this one is more this is a moisturizer so when i was saying earlier that this one felt like i was applying a bit of a like i was extra moisturizing my face there's a distinct difference between both actual moisturizer and actual primer this doesn't have a longevity property to it either so look at the difference between my like i've literally just applied moisturizer on this side and the elf potty primer is on this side this side looks more awake compared to this side what you, do you see what I'm saying? Okay, okay, all right. The foundation that I picked up is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. This one right here in the shade D2 Nutmeg. I really like the way this looks after being touched. <laughs> just random, but I like that. My face looks good on this side. All right, let's just apply this. And I picked this because I don't know, I don't remember it having any amazing appearance. So it just looks glowy, you know? It doesn't really have effect on my pores either. So that's why I picked it. I'm liking the way my face looks on this side compared to this side. So let's just apply the foundation with a beauty sponge, which is damped. Wait. Okay. <laughs> So I just, or maybe I just need to build, I can't even speak. So I just applied foundation on both sides as I can see, but do you see a difference? Cause I do. Before I say it, tell me what difference you're seeing, you're, you're looking at right now between both sides of my face. What do you see? Cause I know what I see. This side looks more like I applied foundation on my face than this side. And I applied the same amount of foundation on my face. Huh? Hold on, wait a minute, let me do it again. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me apply one more pump. Okay, so, all right. You know what? My foundations usually apply really nicely on the Embryolis uh, Light Cream Concentrate Moisturizer. I think it might be this Flower Beauty foundation, but it applied better on this one. Do you know what I'm saying? That is interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Let me go ahead and apply the rest of my face. I'm gonna use the Revolution Concealer Define um, Foundation. This one right here in the shade 13.5, and just put it right here. I know I did. I put aside makeup to use this month for the month of July and a little bit of August. But I got bored. <laughs> By the way, this concealer, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, I don't like it on its own. On its own, it creases really badly. All right, here we go. I've kind of concealed my under eye and still this side looks more. <laughs> oh, I might trip in. No, this side looks more alive than this side. Okay, let's go ahead and set it. I'm using the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. This one is still in makeup I'm using for the month. You see, I'm literally applying the same amount of product on both sides. All right, so here we go. I know you can see my blemishes and whatnot, but just know the Flat Beauty foundation is not meant to be a full coverage where is it i don't know where it is i don't believe it was marketed to be a full coverage foundation and if it was they're lying because it's not <laughs> all right so here we go side by side i think this is as much makeup i'm going to put on my face tonight it's 8 24 which side do you like better comment down below wow okay i don't know this is not a comparison video but like just comparing comparing the elf party primer to my everyday makeup the elf party primer side looks a lot better compared to how i've been doing my everyday makeup does that make sense in my opinion anyway what do you think let me know down below now in its name it says poreless potty primer it doesn't really do a whole lot for your pores but it does give that little bit of a blurring effect when you initially apply 
the primer but what i noticed was that when i was applying the foundation that blurriness that it gave me when i applied the primer wasn't necessarily there anymore but it still covered it a lot more compared to the other side where i didn't apply the elf holes party primer the name is a tongue twister or a lip smacker i don't know so i would say that there is a bit of a difference that you will you will notice when you do use the primer now i don't know what this primer will do in terms of longevity of makeup i don't know if, if it has any power in reducing the oil you produce for those who have oily combination skin or oily skin i can't say anything about that i'll wear it again for the next few days as i usually do and let you guys know in an upcoming video as well <laughs> Day one over. Tomorrow is the third or fourth day. Okay, so as you guys saw, I tried to primer with the Fly Beauty Foundation for two out of the three day test. And the third day, I tried it with the Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define Foundation. I actually wanted to try it with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte May Foundation, but for the life of me, I cannot find it. It's literally flown. It flew. It flew away. I don't know where it is. Anyway, before I give you guys my final thoughts, something to note, I didn't use a setting spray in all the three days. Actually, no, except for the last day. And the spray that I used on the last day, on the third day, is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. And we all know that that is not necessarily for like longevity of makeup it's merely as a finisher so final thoughts on this primer a few things i like about this primer and if you see me looking down that's because i just i wrote a couple of things on my notes so that way i don't forget anything okay so a few things i like about this primer i like the fact that it's lightweight it does melt into your skin but it won't melt into your skin if you apply way too much okay and as you guys saw in the first second and third day you know i applied way too much the first day being the day that I actually filmed the first impression on the primer okay the last day was the day that i actually applied a little bit instead of a whole lot like i did the first second and third day and it actually applied even better and melted into my skin more better so if you're going to be using much better so if you're going to be using this less is more don't apply too much or else you're going to sit there trying to blend it out because of it's a somewhat kind of a thick consistency it does blur my pores a little bit and does a little bit for my already reducing texture which is good it doesn't blur the pro pores pores to a, a, a point of extinction oh my god what are we talking about are we talking about dinosaurs i don't know but it doesn't really blur the pores as much but it does do a little bit of blurring okay now what i did notice with that is that doesn't necessarily stay on all day but my skin does still look smooth before i apply the foundation and i like that about the primer and i actually even used the primer today underneath the juvia's place foundation because i'm in the middle of filming a wear test on juvia's place foundation right now i like the fact that i actually made my the flower beauty foundation look a lot better compared to i don't know it just made the flower beauty foundation look a lot better in terms of longevity on my oily combination skin okay i can say this yes my oil did came did come through but my skin underneath still looked good after the fact and the only time i blooded during those few days were when i was actually on camera at the end of the day so that's about eight to nine hours or so and the final day with the makeup revolution concealer and Defy um, foundation i did a more than 10 hour wear test on that day if i do remember 
remember correctly and also even though the primer didn't really look greasy when I initially applied it and it didn't really feel greasy by when I actually applied it my skin kind of felt a little bit more oily only after about a couple of hours during the day and I believe that's why my foundation was probably like lifting off my chin and my forehead area especially on the days that I wore the flower beauty foundation it didn't happen on the days that when I wore the makeup revolution consumer fine foundation because that one is better than the flower beauty foundation and whatnot and I, I don't believe the flower beauty foundation is good for oily skin and whatnot in the way that's not what this video is about so now let's jump to recommendations okay I believe those with, with normal skin will love this this I keep saying foundation I believe those with normal skin will like this primer especially on top of your moisturizer like you will still like it those with dry skin I also believe you like it as well because it does have that kind of a hydrating component to it especially after an hour or so after it's been applied if you do have oily combination skin and you still want to try this primer I would suggest you combine it with a mattifying primer so that way your oil production can be minimized throughout the day in the areas where it got oilier the most now speaking of which when it comes to oily skin I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for oily skin once again because of that feeling or the the the, the effect it gives you after a couple of hours of applying the primer but if you do want to try it out Bob's your uncle maybe mix it with a mattifying primer or set it down with a prime with a powder which I haven't tried yet or spray it down with a powder with a with a setting spray like an all control is setting spray okay so overall that's all I've got to say about this primer I am sorry this video has gone way too long I know the first half of this video is already 12 minutes so I hope you found this video helpful all the same once again I apologize it went on for too long okay and um, yeah let me know in the comments down below if you want to try this primer or if you're willing to try it out try it out and let me know what your skin type is because I'm of oily combination skin and whatever pr primer I try and and I get I always try to buy something that's a little bit hydrating but act, but also has a uh, oil controlling property to it and if it doesn't i like to mix it you guys know i'm a, I'm a renowned mixologist okay so anyway as i said i hope you enjoyed this video i find it useful and helpful thanks for watching this video fam bam and if you like this video please click thumbs up down below subscribe if you haven't done so already turn on notifications so that way don't miss out on an instagram video from me and as always whatever you want to love yourself and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye